Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about a gene. What actually the gene is. Let's draw an analogy between a binary code and a gene. We see a binary code, it contains an information for a particular function. And here in this binary code, it's coded by zeros and ones. It's continuity of 0, 1, 0, 0 and so on. But in case of gene, gene also contains a particular function codes a particular function but here in the gene this function is coded by nucleotides like adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine in place of zeros and ones. So the language is different but analogy can be drawn in the same way. So a discuss about a gene has always confused us in one way or the other. It gets updated day by day. So let's jump towards this topic and see what actually the gene is. If we see functionally, we say gene is a basic unit of heredity, molecular basic unit of heredity. So here we see a hair color, skin tone color, pigment of eyes and all other things that are already programmed in our genes that gets transferred from one generation to the other generation through parents. And if we see chemically what gene is, we say it is a segment or a region of DNA containing a sequence of nucleotides that encodes any function. A function can be how to make a protein, what protein is to be made, and these proteins interact with each other and define the desired function in our body. Now let's find out why this gene is, why this gene resides in the cell. We have a cell, then we get into the nucleus, and this nucleus contains chromosomes, and this chromosome in turn contains a DNA plus proteins and proteins are mostly the histones and the DNA is made up of nucleobases that's A, G, T, C, deoxyribose sugar and phosphate groups and these three quantities make a nucleotide and this nucleotide the particular sequence of nucleotides which encodes any function is gene so this is the gene nucleotide sequence but a particular nucleotide sequence let's see in this diagram we have a dna complete dna here it has got millions of genes in it but a complete dna molecule does not represent a gene but the segments in it represents a gene let's see this if we see a sequence a t g c a t g c and its complement strand we see it's a nucleotide sequence that can make a protein. Suppose it makes a protein for an eye color, a pigment protein for eye. That means we say it's a gene for an eye color. And in the same way, on the other hand, we see a sequence G, C, T, A, G, G and its complement strand. It does not contain any function. It does not contain any coding sequence. It's a non-functional sequence. It does not determine anything and cannot code for a protein. Suppose we have a gene here. It contains a sequence that can make a protein but it does not contain it in a continuous manner but in a discontinuous manner so the portion of a gene represented in a red here it can make a protein so we call it exon and a gene portion represented in a black it cannot make a protein it's called intron but both are functional it must be noted here both are functional an exon can make a protein but an intron cannot make a protein but it can make other RNAs that are called non-coding RNAs tRNA, rRNAs, tiRNA and other non-coding RNAs that cannot make a protein but they are functional like we have X inactivation by this intron in case of females in order to make a protein these exons are retained and introns are spliced away because they can create a mutation if they are retained so we have a gene here containing exons and introns and through the process of transcription these introns are spliced away and we get the mature RNA transcript and this transcript by the process of translation can make a amino acid and ultimately we get a desired protein and these proteins if we have different kind of proteins and these proteins interact each other and define a special function define a particular function and we say a gene has expressed it in this way 
so this was all about a gene a simplified elementary area about a gene and in the next topic we will cover exon and introns in detail thanks for watching the video do share this video and do not forget to subscribe this channel and give it a thumbs up and also suggest how to make these videos better day by day thanks for watching the video again